Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here and welcome to Mixed Media Soul Sparks. Every week I bring you new ideas for mixed media techniques, inspiration tips and studio practices. This week I'm going to be sharing with you how to get gold leaf on top of a textured surface. Now I've got a class on my site on gold leaf and it's going to cover so many different things. So if you find this interesting and you want to learn how to paint on top of gold leaf, join me for that class. But today I just want to share with you some different ways to pick up the leaf and to apply that onto textured surfaces. Now gold leaf is, what I'm using is actually imitation leaf and I'm going to be sharing with you uh, one brand is called Simple Leaf and it comes with a paper on it so it's easy to pick up. And, but I'll show you how to pick up the, the uh, gold leaf that doesn't have that backing and make it just as easy. But let me first talk about the textures. Now on this particular piece, I created this texture using a combination of paste. I had a molding paste and a coarse molding paste. And I just used my knife to spread it and create this texture on both sides actually. But before I put the adhesive on, I wanted to seal that paste because it was white. And if you have little cracks in the gold leaf, which I kind of like, and you definitely will get that on top of texture, you don't want white showing through, you want to have some color. So I did a transparent red iron oxide on this side. Here I had a turquoise and then I decided to put the dark in case I wanted to use a different leaf. I used, like I said, the imitation gold. There's also copper, which is really copper. Then there's uh, silver, which is aluminum. And I'll explain a few different things about those different leaves. But this one, as I would said, I finished it and then I sprayed it with an adhesive. And here's the thing, when you want to put gold leaf or metal leaf on top of texture, you don't want to use the um, fluid because what will happen is that it'll sink into the valley and you won't have much uh, adhesive up on the surface. So the spray is the way to go, especially with a very textured surface like this. Now I'm going to show you another way. On this piece, I have a slight amount of texture here. It's difficult to see because of the uh, red paint on here, but up here is a raised texture that I had demonstrated something using a stencil. It's handy to have all these little boards around because I can just grab one and throw some more paint on it. So on this one, I am going to show you painting on the adhesive, and I've got two different kinds. This one is just a regular one, and this one is called Extra Thick. All of these are from Mona Lisa. You can get different brands, but it's easy enough to buy a kit that comes with the adhesive and a sealer and even some gold leaf. So I'll put a link for some of those on the uh, page. Now don't use any good brushes for doing this. You can wash these brushes with soap and water, but don't use your good watercolor or oil brushes. This one is the, uh, which one did I open? The regular one. And I'm going to use that on this lower um, texture. What would be the word? It's, it's just not as, as uh, deep of a texture. It's just more of a light embossing. And you see that when I put this on, it goes on white and it will dry clear when it's ready. And I don't need to put a very thick coat on because it doesn't have a deep texture. I do want to brush it in different directions so that I make sure I get the adhesive in all of the raised areas. And that's why I'm kind of, and I'll even rotate it, maybe pick up a small amount more. Now here's the, the nice thing about this, that you will be able to know that it's ready 
to apply the metal leaf when it goes clear. And it will also stay tacky for 24 hours, so it's not like you have to do this right away. It's kind of a sticky top. Now this one, you're going to see how thick this is compared to that one. That one's kind of like milk. This one is more like a, you see it even holds onto the brush. Extra thick. So it's not going to so much run off of the surface, but it is so thick that um, I want to brush some of it off, otherwise it's going to take it too long to dry. But it's mostly just to show you the differences. Set that down. And this is, well, it's white when it's wet, and when it goes clear, it's going to be ready to have the gold leaf put onto it. So, there we go. And you really want to wash your brush off pretty much immediately with soap and water, which I can't do, but I've just gold leafed my brush. So that's kind of cool. Now, I'm going to come back to my one that I sprayed because it's ready to go, and I'll let that sit until it goes clear. And I'm going to talk to you about these different leaves. And the simple leaf comes on a backing paper. So you see how I can hold it and I don't have a problem with it floating away. Right here, it's not attached to the backing paper and you can see how it's just coming off. So I'm going to line this up. You want to make sure you're putting it leaf side, not paper side down. And just going to line it up on the edge, press it into place. I've got a soft cloth here. It's from like an old t-shirt. and you really need something like this to press it down into the recesses. And I've still got the backing paper on here. I want to make sure I have it down. And then I'm going to pull the backing paper off. And where I see it not sticking, I just set it back down again, rub a little more, until it's, it's wanting to stay. And then I peel it off, and then I come back with the, the soft cloth again, a little bit gentler. And what I'm doing is I'm pressing it down first. And as I press this down, I'm making sure it's going down into the, to the recesses before I begin to rub it. You see if I can, I'm sticking to it now. That's a different color. There we go. So here's another piece, and I need to come over to this part. So what I'm going to do is um, <laughs> I'm going to flip this over so I can match up this edge, and I'm just going to slightly overlap it, and just come along this edge right here. start to peel it off. Now I've got this extra part here. I can just take it and pull it off of there and just start to stick it over here. I think I'm going to have to take my gloves off. They've gotten sticky. But let me just show you this part. So now I pressed it down in there and now I want to start to to rub it a little. And this is, I'm increasing pressure as I go. I don't want to start 
rubbing it really hard because it may not have it adhered very well. And especially if you're using the brushed on uh, adhesive, if it's still wet under there, you could easily rub it off. But with this spray, I, I'm not worried about that. But I do want to make sure that it is sticking. And see, there's a little hole right in here. There's another little spot here. I actually like how the red begins to peek through. I can just now flip this over. And let's say I don't necessarily want it perfect. I'll just come in with this piece, put it over that, peel it off. If I have a little extra piece right here, I can come in here, press it in there. I can use it every little part of it. See, this stays sticky. Now let me just show you how to pick up the other leaf that isn't on that backing paper. And it's a pretty easy trick. I'm going to take off these gloves because I need to rub the back of the paper. Now, I'll just put this, you see that it, it doesn't have that backing paper and it just kind of falls apart like that. Very, very thin. So you might have a, a lot of difficulty picking that up and placing it. So this is what I do. So I take a piece of wax paper and I cut it pretty much to size. And I'm just going to press it on top. And I'm going to use my hand rubbing it to create friction so that the gold leaf sticks to the wax paper. And now I can pick it up. And now that paper sticks to that. <laughs> so I can now turn this over and do the same thing as if it were this simple leaf. I'm just using the regular leaf. And again, I can just take this part off and begin to fit it on there. If I come back in, now I want to see if you can notice this. There's a slight difference between those two types of gold leaf. This looks a little brighter to me, and this is a little more yellow. I'm not going to be too worried about that because I'm going to paint over it, but I have found when I work with larger, you know, if I'm covering larger pieces, that I want to try and work all from the same package because there can be a slight variation in the imitation leaf itself. So if you don't want that difference, then that's what you might want to try and do. Let me just show you this. This isn't ready to go, but I'm going to show you putting some of this onto here. Because now you'll be able to see that texture. You notice I didn't leave the wax paper on there just because oops, I just rubbed off some of it. That happens, and that's why you want to have that color back there. But look, I can come in and, and fill it in. I can just put that over there and rub it in. Now you can start to see this texture that's under here. Can you? Maybe. It'll show up more when you get paint on it. But this is still considered texture. It's not super smooth. So in the gold leaf class, I teach you how to put it on, a how to get a really, really smooth surface and put the gold leaf on, how to paint on top of the texture, and even other ways of putting leaf onto papers. Here you can see there's papers there. We'll be doing a gold leaf skin. And this is another gold leaf that is heat treated. And so it has this interesting pattern just on the leaf. And this is prepared and ready for painting. 
So join me in that gold leaf class. And I love painting on top of gold leaf. So I hope you have found some new tricks that you can use. And if you like the video, click like and share it. And thanks for joining me. Join the community and share your creations on social. Use the hashtag MixedMediaSoulSparks. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.